Here, question 3a says find two values of x between 0 and 360 degrees given that the sine of x is equal to 0 0.6. What we're going to have are four quadrants. All right? So, in the angle here, remember now, in the first quadrant, it goes from 0 to 90. In the second, goes up to 180, the third to 270, and the fourth from 270 to 360. All right? Remember that. Now, here, the sine of an angle is 0 0.6. So if we draw a triangle here, Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So let's say we have our triangle right here. This is our triangle, all right? Now this is the x, the angle x. Our angle x is here. The sine of x is opposite over hypotenuse. So, let's call the hypotenuse h and the opposite o. Or let's call it y. Or what should I call it? Yeah, call it o. Here now, we can consider that since this is the case when we have a line going straight across we can form another triangle we try to form that triangle over in the second quadrant where this angle is is also x. We also call this the opposite and this the hypotenuse. Does it give you the, 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 the same 0 0.6? Alright, let's see. 0 0.6 means 0 0.6 over 1. It means that this height here is 0 0.6. While the hypotenuse is 1. Alright? And by the way, if sine x is 0 0.6, we can use our calculator to get the angle x. Let's do that now. You remember how to do it? You're going to find the sine inverse of 0 0.6 equals we get 36.87 degrees so the angle one is 36.87 right so theta uh, not theta x so x is equal to sine inverse of 0 0.6 which is 36.87 degrees. Now here, this height would also be 0 0.6 and it is a positive 0 0.6. It's going up. It's above the x-axis and the hypotenuse is never negative. It's positive. So this angle x start measuring from here. It would come to 180, then we would back off 36 point whatever that is that we got. So, so the next angle, first of all, the first angle is from 0 to here. The next angle is from 0 to here. But to find this angle, we have to go all the way to 180 
then we subtract the 36 degrees. So, x, call this x1, x2, the other angle, is 180 minus 36.87 degrees equals what? So, let us see what angle that is. So it's 180 minus that equals 143.13 degrees. Alright? So it is 143.13 degrees. So there are two angles here. 36.87 and 143.13. Note that if you tried it in the third quadrant here, it would be a negative because this side is below the x-axis. And if you try it in the fourth quadrant, you'd also get a negative 0.6. The angle here would be negative 0.6. The angle here would be negative 0.6. Let us test and see how it goes. Let's test those angles. All right? What is the sine of 143.13? Uh, sine 143.13 equals a positive 0 0.6. The sine of 36.87. Sine 36. 0.87 equals positive 0.6. All right. Now, let us look at two other angles. All right. They're not going to be included as angles, but we examine them here. If we go from here all the way around to this point, then we have an angle that says 180 degrees plus the 36.87. Recall, remember, I know this is 36.87. Right? Now, if we find the sign of that, we're going to get a negative 0 0.6. Let's try. Here. 180 plus 36.87 equals. Huh? So, that's going to be 1. Oh, we, well, we could figure it out. It's. 180 plus 36.87 would be 210.87, right? 180 plus 36.87 equals 216, I mean. 216.87. 216.87, right? Now, the sign of 216.87 equals what? Let's find out what the sign of that angle is. Uh, sign of that equals negative 0.6. You see that? And the reason why this 0.6 is negative is because the side that is the opposite so the 36.87 is down one, it's below the x-axis. The same thing is going to happen here as well. If we go all the way around and stop here, what angle is that? Well, if we go to 360, then back off by 36.87, we'll get it. So this angle here is 36.87 degrees. What is the angle coming all the way around and stopping here? 
we're going to have 360 minus 36.87. So, what angle is that? We're going to have 360 minus 36.87 equal to 322, 323.13. 323.13 degrees. I can tell you that the sign of 323.13 is going to be negative 0 0.6. Well, let's try it and see what we get. So, sign of 323.13 equal negative 0 0.6. Alright? So, this was negative 0 0.6. This is negative 0 0.6. Okay, so the number point six, the sine of the angle thirty six point eight seven and one eighty minus thirty six point eight seven give us point six. The sine of the angle 180 plus 36.87 and also 360 minus 36.87 they give us negative 0 0.6 alright so these are the only angles that are valid that is 36.87 and 180 minus 36.87 that is 36.87 the sine of 36.87 is 0.6 so, one of the angles for the sine inverse of 0.6 is 36.87. The other angle is 143.13.